make some noise, London! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and a great big warm welcome to Clapham Grand to each and every one of you guys. It's an absolute joy, honour and pleasure once again to be back in London. I don't say that lightly, you guys are the absolute salt of the earth. It's an absolute pleasure to be back on this ground once again. We're here today at the Grand Capital Junction, yeah? This event is called Fight for a Cause. I'm one of the fighters here today, he goes by the name of Mad Mike. Well, I call him Mad Mike. I've known him for a little while, yeah? They also call me Farai, a.k.a. Donkey, so I put him here to represent for the family. So, Mike, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're, where you're coming from, and why you got involved in this event? I grew up in North London, always worked hard in the gym. One of the, I always think I'm the fittest guy out there, so, you know, here now, I've been training at boxing elsewhere. Met man like T, yet me. He introduced me to this, so I'm here now, and I'm ready to box. First live fight, but let's get it on. Okay, okay. And um, so, what's your style of boxing? You southpaw, you orthodox. Uh, what's your weapons? Or are you gonna keep keep people secret? Right? What's the I'm orthodox, but you know what? My own weapon is that I'm adapting. So you know, I'm a serious guy out there, and I'm an adapter. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't that sound like you've just been listening to Mayweather? He's adaptable. <laughs> he said he's adaptable. I ain't gonna lie. He's an adapt. Okay, so it's going to be an interesting thing tonight, yeah? It is the Jimmy Asher Foundation. This is one of our fighters here, Mike, yeah? And we'll be catching you guys a little bit later, and hopefully we'll have his first KO out. Please. Closing it as well. The legend himself, I.C. Cole! Give me a massive round of applause. Okay, so once again, it's your co-founder, Farai, co-founder of the Jimmy Asher Foundation. We're here at Fight for a Cause at the Grand Clapham Junction. We've got another one of our fighters here with us, another young contender to the front, yeah? It is a white colour event, but you never know how far these guys will go. So guys, take the name where you're from, introduce yourself to the world. Yeah, hey, it's Lam from Bromley, Fight Out Berlin in Boxing Club. Wow. So you've got boxing resume? Yeah, I've one. Two and one, excuse me. Can you see that look in his eyes? You see that look in his eyes, the camera zoom up, look, 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 look into his eyes, yeah? He means business, yeah? He doesn't come here to play games. Do you play boxing or do you do like, what's no, it saying? No such thing as playing boxing. You hear that? Yeah, yeah, no such thing as playing boxing, there's no games around here. So the friendly fire is over, the banter is over, we're going to get it on later. It's going to be shut down. Now. Alongside the legendary boxing trainer from Ballam. This is he's also known as Uncle Winston to many, yeah? He's, he's trained many a good fighters and started off many a good career. Um, is there anything that's special that we can expect tonight? What do you think of the calibre of boxes that we've got here tonight? There's two things. One after looking. This is white colour boxing, that dynamic and that professional boxing. But these guys are prepared to fight after 10 weeks of training. Give credit to them. Um, some of them already boxing, some of them boxing. But what we'd like the audience to do tonight is not to do anyway. Because they take us to go out there and box. 
Yeah. So tonight is the time when everybody should enjoy the evening. Enjoy what you see. And whoever wants to take part in the future, give us your night. Okay, so you hear that? It's all about positive encouragement. It's going to be a good night tonight. The Jimmy Asher Foundation is the youth. Our aim is to guide the youth to the right path. That's what I do in boxing. When I started coaching boxing and owning the club, it wasn't the real champion, to make better cities. And this is what the Jimmy Asher Foundation is all about. Yes. Make better cities. Yeah, so Fun and Junk Society is all about building better people, yeah? Yes. That's what we're all about, building yes. for the future. A helping hand up, not a helping hand out. We want to help hand up. Yes. That's what right. it's about. Right, okay, so it's an interview again. Once again, it's your co-founder of the Jimmy Asher Foundation. Yeah, it's T. I'm here with number one of our fighters, yeah? Yeah, no, sorry. Boxers, yeah? Boxers, yeah? Boxers, remember that, yeah? So he's coming in here, he's coming to do some business. First and foremost, I have to say, hats off, because I'm not stepping into the ring for no one, yeah? So hats off to this guy, he's doing it in front of a crowd of people that takes a lot of cojones. Takes a lot of cojones, a lot of guts. And um, he went through the training camp. How was the training camp, first and foremost? Tough. Very, very tough. Exhausting. That's, oh, it's just tough, so tough. So tough, you have to dig deep, work hard. Okay, and here we are tonight. It's showtime, innit? Right. Let's go. That's it. Do you think you learned anything new about yourself in the training camp? I thought I'm a lot more resilient than I first thought. Like, how you going? Your first, first couple of sessions, you're a bit like, ah, oh, I don't know if I'm cut out for this, you know what I mean? And then you go on, you go on. And uh, this is me. This is me. I'm, I'm training hard. The sweat's there, do you know what I mean? I'm putting the hours, so now there's blood, sweat, and tears. Let's put it into action. Right, okay. Let's put it into action. Do you see yourself continuing along this path after this fight, or are you just going to do it? 100%. 100%. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going amateur. I'm turning my, I've got to stop my amateur career. Getting on a bit now, but I'm still young enough to, to get in, do you know what I mean? So, so hopefully, next season or the season after. Boxing with resume. Oh, there you go. Oh, so, 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 Orthodox. Orthodox all day long. Orthodox all day long. Okay. You heard that? It's Orthodox all day long. So, look out for me. Your name is? Jack, Jack Abbott. Jack Abbott. Jack Abbott. Good luck. Well done. Yeah. Okay. Once again, it's your co founder of the Jimmy Johnson Foundation, T. Mr. T, aka Farah. I'm here with the one and the only, only and one counselor of Pollard's Hill Ward in Mitcham, which is based in the London borough of Merton. I found out that this lovely woman is a huge fan of boxing. So, counselor, no further ado. Alright, okay, I'm going to tell you a little bit about my life story when it comes to our boxing. At age 16, I started to go to the gym because I wanted to look really nice and change. So, my first thing was to do bodybuilding. And from bodybuilding, I started to visit a lot of the boxing clubs. I never really do any boxing myself, but I love to visit and see what they're doing. Although sometimes it really let me be a bit frightened when I saw the guys that were getting the big punch and thinking, oh my god, but at the end of the day, it's a sport. But not only that, but I, what I know for sure, take a lot of, especially young people, away from the street and doing something really good. Something to empower them and also something to take them out of any problems and issues. For instance, for it, like now, as you may realize, we're in a very um, massive problems with knife crime. And if, I mean, young people come together, like what I'm seeing here tonight, and doing something like this, get involved in, in activities to keep them away from trouble, that's fantastic. But not only that, it helps them to, you know, move on in life and maybe possible a career in boxing because you have um, probably a boxers like, what is his name? What's the name? We've got a young boxer coming here yes. by the name of Sh um, Shiloh De Freitas. Mention to the De Freitas. Mr. De Freitas, he is a future um, champion. He's actually a Commonwealth gold medalist. Yeah, he's an under 60 kg European champion. He'll be here for us later on this evening. And you also have up and coming boxers. A lot of good Brit British boxers right now. Right now, Britain is experiencing an upsurge of boxing. So you've got heavy, you've got good boxers like. Um, Oh, 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 my 
they, they bullied Billy Joe Saunders. You've obviously got the heavyweight champion of the world, Anthony Joshua. You've also got... Um, oh, Mike Thompson was there. And of course, you know, our legend, um, Muhammad Ali. Exactly. I mean, he was such a role model for many people. And of course, because of him, a lot of young people get into boxing because of his, 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 his um, method and also because of the strength and the enthusiasm that he shows for boxing. You know, it helps for young people to you know, be better, better their life. As counselor, I'm sure you're going to have a wonderful evening. And we'll be able to hopefully can catch up with you and see how you found the event. The build up is lovely. People are coming through the door as we speak. Um, watch this space. Okay. Have a good night, everyone. Thank you.